Welcome to Apollo the Shire channel. Today we're going to dive into what is a typical training session with David McMillan. David is our dressage trainer. He's a gold medal Grand Prix dressage rider and we've been working with him for about two years. From the very beginning I knew the discipline I wanted to pursue with Apollo was dressage. There are so many different equestrian sports sometimes it can be hard to decide which to choose. Although I find all equestrian sports fascinating, I knew instantly from my first dressage lesson that I was hooked. Many of you know that I'm an artist and this seemed like the perfect balance between the art form of riding and the technicality of training a horse. Dressage can be traced back to the ancient Greeks who were master horse trainers. It began as tactical battle movements. In a battle scenario, horses need to be perfectly capable of performing complex movements instantly in life or death situations. It has since then evolved into more of an elegant dance. I think it teaches a horse to use its body in the most effective, efficient way and to do it with style and grace. Just like humans, horses need training. We aren't born a ballroom dancer or a professional soccer player. Gymnasts will dedicate their lives to making their bodies perform at peak level. You also don't suddenly get off the couch and run a world-class Olympic 100-meter hurdles. Horses are no different. Yes, they can all gallop and trot, but they need to be taught how to do it correctly, how to use their bodies and muscles. It takes years of work. Unfortunately, I'm not a horse trainer. I wish I was. I could absolutely lose myself in horses, but I also know my limitations. I can ride a carnival pony with a best of them. I can give Apollo lots and lots of treats, and I excel at paying for everything Apollo needs to be healthy and happy. But I am no trainer, so I need help. David really gets Apollo and what makes him tick. After almost two years of training sessions, he knows when to praise him or when to be firm. Apollo's like a 2,000 pound toddler and if handled improperly could injure himself or the people around him. Some of the things you'll hear and see us working on you may have seen or done before. Some maybe not. Some of the ideas may be different. There are lots of ways to train a horse even if the end goal is similar. Each horse is different and requires its own approach. This is one session. Next lesson could look very different. It all depends on what we're working on or what curveballs Apollo throws at us that particular day. David is speaking into his phone and I'm listening with an earpiece so as to not have to yell across the arena. He's also from South Africa so you may pick up on a bit of an accent. Apollo does get breaks and loose rein walks to catch his breath but I have edited those out as they aren't the focus of this video. But he does get breaks, and I need them too. Riding him can be a workout. For the rest of the time, I'll let you have a sneak peek at what a typical session looks like. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and enjoy. <clears throat> now he just wants to keep the contact in what I call a quasi contact, stay involved, stay directing him in the flexions right and left. But the goal is that he respectfully seeks your contact downward when you first get on. And we haven't done that typically to this up until this point simply because there's been so much else to do yeah. in teaching him about the center of gravity shift behind the saddle. But he's getting better at that now. And so I want to meet him halfway with all of this. Serpentine line now, five loops. Next left in the stretch, elevate the left rib cage. Use this as an opportunity to find your alignment. Spiral alignments or directional alignments. Now that's better there. You have to exaggerate it slightly, you know, that inside bending request. You can separate the pole from the inside forearm each time. Better. 
better. Good. Then the goal, of course, becomes that the, the, the feeling in your brain gets even eventually, right? Where when you ask for a flexion, that he's so willing to give it that he expands the outside of his neck so well that he offers you the feeling in the outside brain the same as it is in the inside brain, right? So it becomes matched and even. At that point, then I'll transfer more energy to the outside brain. But that's the process I go through, right? I don't snatch the outside brain from a horse. I've never believed in it. You hear that a lot, right? Inside leg, outside brain, until you blur in the face, right? No. That comes from second-rate hunter training from the 70s and 80s. I'm convinced of it. <laughs> Maybe third rate. Flexion to the left. Yeah, and the goal is that every time you place the inside eight on in your coordination, that he offers you the right ray. Better there. And now extension, a little rounder in your feeling both sides of the jaw as you start to expand the stride. So after each loop, on the serpentine, your goal is a transition to the extension, right? On the straightaway. Better. Very good. Now, shoulder in to the left. Left shoulder back, right leg forward. Left leg back. Yes. Yes. Now maintain the shoulder into the center line. Good. Good. Now shoulder in right. Better, eh? It's better than last time. Good. Much better. Onto the rail, shoulder in right. Notice how we introduced a uh, very steady but with a lot of focus the shorter range. Right? Good. Now, it's very nice that. Straight into the counter shoulder in. So we're going to do the same kind of thing now on the straightaway that we just did on the loop line, the serpentine line. We're going to do the same thing. Good balance. Shoulder in right. Bad, right? He used to always chase that side. Good. Now straighten all the way. Keep him on his hind legs. Halt. And rein back. Very good. Shot. Very good. Keep the elbow and the bicep just a little bit more earthy, a little lower, a little more toned. Oh. And put a touch of space in the outside connection at times. Now, as you've got the balance, I think it's quite good. We want to send a bit more forward without losing where you have the hind leg, okay? So keep that same sense of yourself in the hind leg. Good. Now, add just a little bit more angle by sliding your left leg a bit more forward. Influencing the shoulders more to the right. Better. Better. Now, your goal now is the left front to the right hind. Yeah, it's better. That's better. So you have because he's so big, you've got to really uh, split your leg, you know. Your leg position is what I'm talking about. Now just leave him there, let's rotate your wrist a little on both sides, see if we can get him a touch softer without losing balance. Ah, can we work with his pole a little, can we work with the jaw a little more? Without losing balance, that's better. And halt. Good balance, shot. And Counter shoulder in, divide your leg, left leg back, right leg forward, their left shoulder back, right in the right seat bone. Now your goal is to influence the haunches a little bit more to the inside without losing balance. So build it in slow, steady increments, that angle. 
that are that are good then the neck should always be the last thing that comes into play good now straighten keep him balanced on the hind leg there yes good straighten good three quarter line leg yields to the left Straighten a touch more on the left rein, soften the right side of the connection. Good. When you hit the rail here, halt, straight neck. Good. Rain back. Five strides to trot. One, two, three, four, trot. So you got seven. All right. We'll work with that. Shoulder in right. Nice balance, just a little bit more rotation, something a little more artistic perhaps in your connection. Good. Good, because when you have the balance set up correctly, you can start to ask for that. That's right, just so that the fall of the horse remains level. Good, lovely, now see now the pole is more level. Good, straighten. Off the corner here, K, diagonal KXM, change the rein. Keep them straight on the right, just see in your video. Push the shoulders to the right, be careful. Yeah. A little bit more shot in general. Shoulder in left now. Slide your right leg forward, left leg back. A little bit more angle without losing balance. That's better. Now straighten, count the shoulder in. Ask for more angle because he's locked on the left hind. That's better. That's better. Now straighten. Soft on the right, keep him on the hind leg. Good. Very nice. Cancel left and start with 20 meters. The same balance piece. Very good. Keep your body back weighted. That's better. Now on the 20 meter circle there. Trot, transition. Keep it on the 20, don't let him dictate other things. No. Very clear. Slide your right leg forward, influence the right front more directly, please. Better. Direct, Direct the right, right front, front, good. Then slide, slide the left leg a little forward to canter. Good. And now think about the placement of the right front on your line of travel. Good. On the rail. Yeah, being preemptive. Yeah, try, try to keep, keep your body, body back, back and down. down. Catch her. Bring, yeah, bring, the, bring the, the balance back to the right hand leg. Yeah, good. That's, That's right. Tap him behind a little bit like the off massage. Yeah, and then cancer. Cancer. Very, Very good. good. This is correct. Now, now small the start with that. Yeah. Rotate on, on just fine to the left. left. Fixate a bit more that right front placement. Now do me a favor, count to bend this a little because there's too much bending and you've lost the right front. It's all okay, but yeah. Next, down the long side, count to position. Better. Better. Now turn. Position. Turn on a circle. And I can turn with the flexion to the right. So he turns from the right front. That's better. Good. Good. Now trot on the rail. Count the shoulder in and the trot. One, two, good, two, one, two. Count the shoulder in. More angle. 
Good. Down. Down. And really focus in on each leg. And separate each leg out. Good. Good. Now rain back. Now canter left. Good. Now counter position. Because when you first go to the canter, he wants to skid around. But yeah, there you go. Keep the right front moving to the left rein. The pole tending to the right. Good. On the rail, same thing. Now halt, you mean it. Now rain back. Lots of strides. Lots and lots and lots and lots and can to left. Good. Right. Don't get hooked into your left rein. That's when you get into trouble. Then counter position and we'll focus on the right front. Halt. Oh, yep. <laughs> Better balance, rain back, lots and lots of strides. I think the next time your lesson happens, I need to ride him a bit. Canter left. Good. Tiny circle. Obsess about the right front. Place it exactly where your vision is. On the rail, better balance. Good. Good. Now halt. 600 pounds. Yeah. Super. Loose rein pattern. That was very good riding. Pick up the rein. Start with the shoulder in right there, so you don't have too much of the you know, Oscar-winning performance moments there. Okay. And we'll throw left rein down, and we'll throw in the left rein, left front over to the right, around in the left, better, good, straighten, halt, rein back. We'll pass to the right. Yeah. Rain back. Rain back. Straighten. Canter right. Yeah. Oh. Try again. Walk canter quickly. Oops. Think hind, left hind to the right and canter. Left hind to right. Yeah, perfect. Good. Stay on the small circle for a minute. Good. And a very good balance. And now hold. Better balance. Rain back. Good. And canter right again in the small circle. Very good. On the rail or the quarter line, wherever you can, because of traffic, keep the same degree of balance. Circle out at any moment. Huh? Good upper body. Good. Nice balance, Santiago. Good. Looking straight from the left. Yes. So you're going to turn, turn on a smaller circle so that you can produce more balance, right? You can turn. Good. <clears throat> and then the straight line. Good balance. Good balance in a small circle again here. Yeah.
Good. Good. Very good. Hold. Rain back. Well done. Straighten a little. Good. Loose rain pattern. Good. You're working through those difficult slopes. A lot better than you used to. Uh-huh. And then straight and yeah, exactly. Good. So why turn to the right? Yeah. <clears throat> now rain back. Full pass to the right again. Now after this full pass here, turn it into turn on the forehand left. Same thing, just on a tiny circle. Think of your full pass. Don't let him start stabbing the hind legs into the ground early. Keep separating the right hand out more. The shoulder looks good, the silhouette looks good, but the right hand hitting the ground too early. Better. Better. Canter. And to left? Yeah. Very good. Halt. Halt. Good, rain back, better balance. Now full pass to the left towards me. Now turn that into a turn on the forehand right. Now your goal is not only perfection and spinal alignment, but you have to be able to separate the left hind out. So he is forced to put more weight and more awareness on it. That's better there, better there. And can to right. Correct. Halt. Rain back. Very good balance. Loose rain pattern. Good. Go counter shoulder in this time. Now, really obsess about the length of the stride behind the saddle and the steadiness of the shoulder. Right, just steady that back slightly, because notice as you're asking him to do things that are difficult, he just hits the ground quicker with the legs, right? It's a common problem. So put a bit more half halt in, a little more separation of the hindquarters to the right. Yeah, good. So now straighten. Center. Same awareness on the left. Correct. Correct. Good. Down the long side of the slight counter position. No trotting. You're not even thinking about it. But he's balancing well for you. You should have to watch yourself closely. There. Ah, good. So now small circle right, a little bit straighter, but keep the outside idea. No trotting. Better balance. Good. So Tiago, nice, Kenta. See halt. But get there. <laughs> That's it. Rain back. Good job. Good full pass to the right. Much better cant quality to the right there now. Good. Good. Rain back. Chart transition. Good balance. Straight. I really like the balance, but I want you to think about him taking longer strides behind. Okay, a little bit. Keep also keep your wrists close together. I want you to be a rider that rides with very tidy hands. Right? If you ride with the hands coming too far apart, the judges start to wonder about you. Yeah. 
That's, that's better. Now, as you narrow up your profile, it is directly related to your awareness down both sides of your body. If you split your profile too wide in your hand, you're not very aware anymore, right? About what your legs are doing, your upper body is doing. That's better. Always keep your hands close. Count your shoulder in. Hands close. Yes. Now you start to know, okay, do I have enough angle? Well, I really like your silhouette and I really like the rhythm. But I would suggest that you add more angle behind the saddle without losing what you've created everywhere else. All right, so picture the right hind in your mind separating more to the right. Slide your left leg a little further back. So he understands. Yeah, and then again, bringing the haunches more to the right. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy on them. Right? That's it. The horse is a mile long. It's not easy. Straighten. Lovely balance. Shoulder in right. Just a little more creative, perhaps, in the contact at times. Yeah. Tell them some, you know, a little bit different story at times in your range. As long as you're not destabilizing your contact. Right? You can tell them a story there. Little tap back there. Good angle. Yeah, ask him to start. That's right, ask him to step a touch more. Soften your left rein a bit. And then flexion up to the right, soften the left connection. That's better there. Now bring the haunches more to the left. Good. 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 Much better. Yeah, yeah. Soften the left a little. Scratch on the left. Rotate the right wrist. Rotate, rotate. That's better. Good. Straighten. Halt. Shoulder in. Slightly slow in your approach. Right, so notice that when you ask him to start doing things, it's go to resistance is to stab the toe into the ground so he doesn't have to step. The best way to around that is to modify the rhythm. Better. Good. And then we'll start giving you more access to the top line in the legs. Should take longer strides instead of quick stabbing ones. Straight in. Halt. Train back. Full pass left. Flex right to touch. Separate the left hind out. That behind, yeah. Rain back. Full pass left. Good. Turn on the forehand right. Flex to the right. Turn on the forehand right. Yeah. Don't let them dictate. There you go. Good. Good. Very good. Canter right, same place. Very good. Lovely balance down the long side. Very good, Santiago. Lovely canter. And a small circle right. Place the left front where your vision is. Lovely canter, very pleasant to watch. And halt. Correct. We train very nice. So that's the canter for the show, right? And for anything you do, first level and beyond, just have that level of balance.
and buy him a big pink tutu. <laughs> I got that idea actually from a friend of mine who does uh, <clears throat> big 